Good evening, Cardiac Radio listeners. My name is Teresa, and welcome to our 6 p.m. daily prayer. And this evening, our prayer is going to come from the Spiritist magazine, which you can download a copy for free on um, Cardiac Radio. I mean, Spiritist, the the app Spiritist magazine. Um, and you can also order it online, thespiritismagazine.com. You can have a copy delivered to your home, or if you go to the app, you can download for free. So this evening, um, we're reading from the Spiritist Magazine. It's um, edition number 47, October, November 2019. So if you go to the app, in, uh, the Spiritist Magazine app, and you put in 47, the app will come up. Uh, the edition will come up. So this evening, we're going to, in light of um, Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day to everyone, we're going to read a passage uh, regarding women. And this was taken from the book Conduta Espirita by Andre Luiz, psychographed by Waldo Vieira uh, from Chapter 1. The English version of the book was provided by the Spiritist Society of Virginia's team. Its copyright was given to the publisher, and we await its publication. Hi, Vanessa. And so, and hello to everybody else. Um, thank you, Vanessa, for posting that um, website for us, for the Spiritist magazine. So regarding women, engross yourself within the ministry of the family institution as its guardian, and engross yourself within the elevated task of guiding reincarnating souls into the physical realm. The commitment to the good is of great importance in the spiritual realm. Distance yourself from appearances and fantasies, devoting oneself to moral achievements in keeping with eternal life without being attached to captivating conventionality. conventionality. The return to the discarnate condition means to return to the profound consciousness. Hello, Nora Brazil. Thank you for joining. And thank you for those who I can't see your name. Thank you as well for joining us. Untune oneself with Christian teachings so as to situate your soul within the service of maternal and educational duties, the duties of assistance and the blessing of sanctifying mediumship. Those who escape from the opportunity of being useful deceive themselves. Feel and understand your marital union obligations from the point of view of the multimillionary life of the spirit, acknowledging the need for regenerative trials that characterize the majority of earthly alliances. Sacrifices represent the price of true happiness. Oppose any artificiality aimed to transform marriage into a simple sexual connection without the beauties of motherhood. In the presence of children, hate is wiped away, love is sublimated, and souls are harmonized for eternity. Recognize abortion as a serious offense that throws the female heart into an abyss of misfortune. Misguided sex leads to a path of expiation. Preserve inner values by thoughtfully weighing your own choices with prudence and realism in your duties as a sister, a daughter, companion, and mother. The work of a woman is always a mission of love that extends to the infinite. And then the final passage is actually from the Bible. It's um, Luke's um, writings on Jesus. And it, um, so it's actually Jesus talking. Martha, Martha, the Lord said, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. And that's from Luke chapter 10, verse 41, 42. And I, and I feel like the last, verse that um, from Jesus really sums it all up. Um, and we'll remember that this was the story when Jesus was in the home of Mary and Martha. And um, 
um, Martha, they were sisters, and Martha doing her womanly duties, chores, you know, preparing the meals, household chores, um, you know, started complaining to Jesus about, you know, shouldn't her sister be helping her? And, you know, Jesus reminds her that, um, yes, our household chores are important and our worldly duties and um, commitments are important, but not to lose sight that there was nothing more important than hearing the gospel, Jesus' teachings, um, improving ourselves. So I feel like that is a, a good message for us all to think about, um, is prioritizing our lives as mothers. And even if we aren't mothers, thinking of the motherly spirit, the mother, motherly traits, compassion, understanding, uh, firmness, um, being firm but gentle. So some other reminders is uh, there was an excellent um, study done this past Friday by um, SSVA with, uh, it was a program on Mother Mary, role model of parenting. And you can find that in, uh, so that was May 8th, and there will be a recording at Cardac Radio as well. I recommend it if you did not get to view that. Um, highly inspirational and educational, always nourishing our souls. <laughs> Um, so I also want to encourage everyone to come back tomorrow for our um, daily prayer at 6 p.m., which is followed by um, the spiritual cares at 6.30 p.m., all on Kardec Radio. So I hope you can come back and join us. Um, and gives us an opportunity all to practice in nourishing our souls and keeping our priorities. So let us now close with a final prayer. We'll close our eyes. And let us focus on Mother Mary, who was of the highest and most superior mother of all. We pray that we may emulate her way of life, obedient to God through reason, resigning with love, compassionate and caring, committed to her mission without question, and all the while fulfilling her earthly mother deeds as well. Let us pray that all those suffering at this time in pain difficulty breathing, maybe alone, that they may feel the love of Mary, a spark of hope in their hearts, knowing that all things pass. Let us enjoy this day, remembering the mother if we're a mother or not, it makes no difference. We can all practice the mother ideas. And not only to practice, but also to receive these from others. When others try to be helpful or compassionate, listening, let us be respectful. Thank you, dear listeners, for joining us this evening and come back again tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day to all and have a good evening. Thank you.